Sorry guys, we had some technical difficulties, but we've got it all on track now, so we're good. Now to start up where we left off, these were the graphs that I had given you on Friday, and I asked you to describe the end behavior for each of these graphs as x approaches infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. Now, I know some of you had asked, well, why is it that x to the fourth power and x to the negative fourth power, why is it that they look like parabolas? There's a reason why they look like that, but I'm not going to get into detail as to why that is. As we go through this chapter, it's going to explain why those are looking the same. The same goes for the cubic functions. Those look exactly like the functions that have a degree of 5. And again, we'll go through it as we go throughout this chapter. Now, if you look at the graphs on this one, as x approaches infinity, the y's are getting bigger, so it's also approaching infinity. As this one approaches negative infinity, this one also approaches negative infinity. This one, as our x approaches infinity, our graph's going down, so it's negative infinity. Our x's are getting smaller, and our y's are getting bigger. Now, both of these are positive, so both y's are positive infinity. If we look at this one down here, they're both negatives, so in both cases, they approach negative infinity. Here, just exactly like the cubic functions, if it's positive, if the x's are positive, the y's are positive. If the x's are negative, the y's are negative. In this one, as the x's are positive, the y's are negative. Oh man. As the x's are getting smaller, our y's are getting positive. Which is pretty easy stuff, guys. This one wasn't too, too hard of an assignment. Now, together with the assignment that I just gave you, look at page 206 on the Check Your Understanding. Let me go through this quickly so I can show you what that looks like. Questions 6 and 7, it says, describe the end behavior of each function. Now, these are polynomials because they have positive exponents, none of the terms are dividing, and we have no negative exponents. So now I know that you guys don't have calculators because I locked them up. Another thing, before I forget, calculator number 3 has been missing for about 5 days now. I don't know who has it. It doesn't matter to me who has it. All I need you guys to do is turn it in. If I don't get it back, I'm going to have to stop letting you guys use the calculators and even take them home. It's not something I want to have to do. But find calculator number three. So now, question six. Let me give you a representation of the graph so that you know how to do it. On the calculator, if you graph question six, looks exactly like that. So let me give you a rough sketch of that. And again, you're going to describe the end behavior. As the x approaches infinity, what does y approach? As x approaches negative infinity, what does y approach? That's question six. Now, question seven looks exactly like this. Oh man. Sorry. Okay. Alright. This one looks kind of like example 11 that we did together on Friday. Let me give you a rough sketch of that. This is question 7. This is question 6. And it's going to look something like this. And again, your assignment is, as x approaches infinity, what does y approach? And as x approaches infinity, negative infinity, 
what does y approach? Okay, so just to recap for homework, and if you still have time in class to do it, I suggest you get started. Is Springboard, page 206. If you haven't torn it out of your book, I suggest you do it now. And it's numbers 1 through 7. Alright. So that's it for today, guys. I know it's a lot, and I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I appreciate if you guys are paying attention and trying to follow along because remember your final not your final your fourth nine weeks test is on Friday that means that either Wednesday or Thursday we're gonna start reviewing for this test and we don't have time to hold back on anything so it's the end of Monday um, you'll see me in a little bit for day two of the next stuff that we gotta go through.